do a little project today that I've been meaning to do for quite a while. I thought I'd do a little painting on the 1985 Sun Valley Coleman Camper coming right up. I'm talking about on the inside when I originally painted about three years ago I decided to go with a light color and I thought it would look pretty nice which it definitely does it shows every little dirt mark every little scratch and I bought me a little bit darker of a paint I'm gonna go ahead and paint it today now you can even see on my ceiling I had some blue paint left over from a project this little trim piece around here kind of a lighter blue it doesn't go really well with the interior what I'll do is I'll remove the drawers and I'll remove the doors and take them actually into the shop and paint those it just makes it a lot easier than trying to leave them on and try to work around them. and what I want to do is take the hinges off but what I just found out was the hinges are actually pop riveted to the frame itself I won't be able to actually take the actual hinge off but I will go ahead and take the doors off it's always important to have a little container like this right here to keep all the screws in it so they won't end up getting it. looks like there's a couple screws on the inside you need to remove now I can say one thing about a project like this you want to try to keep your job site nice and neat So I'm going to try to put some felt strips on that and see if I can't get that to be a little bit more quiet. That's what quiet hours are for. Yeah, it's truly amazing the price of uh, pop-up campers these days. Unbelievable how much they have went up in value. Pop-up camper, be sure and take care of it. I saw one not long ago sitting out in someone's backyard and it had mold all over it and... It looked like a pretty nice little Coleman camper sitting there, and I'm thinking, man, I'm almost thinking about going by there knocking on their door and asking them how much they'd want for it. You know, there may actually be a little bit of business now going in buying campers that people just don't have any interest in anymore and fixing them up, cleaning them up, and putting them back on the market, making some pretty good money. Anyway, it might be an idea for When I removed the drawers just now, I noticed I had this little panel inside here. Now I've had the Sun Valley for about five years. I had no idea this was in there. Apparently this panel, I bet, goes, I would say it probably goes inside the sink here. You'd have to remove your faucet right here in order to get that to work. Where the floor and the side panels meet, I'll tape those areas down. You know, sometimes it takes a little extra work to do it right, but finished product is so much nicer. If you've never owned a pop-up camper, you really don't realize how convenient they are. Very easy to tow down the road, very easy to back up, and, and yet you can see once you open it up, and this is actually a small pop-up. The Sun Valley is considered a small pop-up. There are pop-up campers twice this size, easy. Nice thing I like about the Sun Valley, it weighs 995 pounds. Now that's without gear in it, but I don't put a lot of gear inside it. If you happen to get one, I highly suggest you set it up in your yard, practice it before you actually take it out on location. Could save you a lot of hassle that way. Hey, I appreciate you coming to the channel. It is a Bayer paint color, primitive. And what I'm using is an exterior satin finish. Now the reason I went with exterior is being a camper, it's exposed to a lot of moisture, a lot of humidity, things like that. 
So I'm thinking that the exterior paint may allow it a little bit more protection. Probably going to take at least two coats, I would think, to get it right. For some of you that don't follow my channel, I am a painter. I do have a painting company and I have quite a few videos out on how to paint like a pro. You can see this would be a little painting tip here. In order to get underneath there, you've got to get down so you can see where you're painting. Okay, it's another beautiful morning here in southern Indiana. Had a good day yesterday painting. Let me show you what all I so got. The painting project is going pretty good. Got the first coat on the lower cabinet areas. I'm going to give it at least one, maybe two more coats. Goes a lot better with my original fabric too. I'm going to cover this blue up and I think I'm going to go ahead and take that primitive color and bring it up here to the top around and then when it comes to the dark blue that is where i'm going to use a color called sweet jasmine and sweet jasmine will actually complement the color primitive when it comes to your painting colors you can complement colors so all colors do not go well together but if you use this app i've got the primitive color at the bottom Sweet Jasmine will actually complement the primitive color. Believe you me, being a painter, I know that colors, there's something about the formula in a color. Two colors can go together or two colors can just clash. It's amazing. Check out the app. It's the Bear app. You can get on your phone for Android or Apple, either way. But it's very important. So if you go to paint your house, Remember that if you're going to paint your living room a certain color, the color in the hallway or the color in the kitchen ought to be a complementary color of the color that you used in your living room. Find your primary color that you really can't live without. And every other color just kind of fragments from there in a complementary way. And your whole house, when you walk through, it'll be very pleasing. The same as your pop-up camper. You want to cut in your doors and your drawers and roll the large areas and it works out pretty good. I would say with this primitive color I will have used about one quart. One quart of this paint about $24 and some tax. Three years ago, I'd painted them this lighter color, and before that, they were like a wood grain veneer. So the first initial paint job, when I went in and covered the veneer, I used a primer. Painted for the first time, and you have that veneer wood look, you'll want to go ahead and put a primer on it. So your primer sticks to the veneer, and then your paint sticks to the primer. So it's a pretty good system. you had any doubt it's springtime look at all the pollen that's just like within a day wow I would imagine if you had allergies you'd be suffering a little bit today okay got the primitive all trimmed out all the way around so now it's time to cover up the blue the dark ocean blue and the color I'm going to use is called, called da -dum, da -dum, Sweet Jasmine. Hey, I appreciate you coming to the channel. That's LAF Space Film Fest. It's capital LAF Space Film Fest. Hammer down that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Hey, just in case you want to paint your pop-up camper a different color, you can even share the video with your friends. Give them some ideas. You could have a pop-up painting camping party.
least let it dry an hour. Probably two hours is pretty good. All right, good morning. It's been a pretty good project. Got the sweet jasmine applied to the top. Got the primitive around the top border. Let's put the doors and the drawers back together. Need one more coat, but a lot of times you can go ahead and add that additional coat once you get them put two. on. When you paint something, it takes two to three days for the paint to really set up as hard as it should be. So be careful with it because it's very easy to nick the paint. The paint is very fresh and very soft still. There's what you get when you deal with 1985 original equipment. That little guy just snapped right there in two. But I like them. They're pretty cool looking handles. So instead of running to the hardware store and buying some new handles, I'm going to go ahead and try to fix this one. There's something about original equipment that I really like. Hey, if you're thinking about maybe even painting the kitchen cabinets in your home, and you're wondering what the steps are to go through it, I have quite a few painting videos out there under the playlist how to paint like a pro and one of them in particular is start to finish if you have wood cabinets and you want to go ahead and put a coat of paint on them it's very important to follow step by step with the primer the sanding the cleaning probably one of the very high degree of difficulties to complete a project like that so if you're going to do it be sure and plan enough time for it but i tell you what when you get done it sure look nice Hey, that turned out to be a pretty good project. I'm pretty proud of that. It looks really, really nice. Nineteen eighty-five Coleman Sun Valley. Sweet jasmine on the ceiling, flanked by primitive, and primitive was applied to the cabinets. Looks really good. And the best part of it all, to me, the very best part, is look at the rug that Mama gave me. Wow. That is beautiful. And it fits as if it was custom made. You know, that's one of those treasures to me. I could have bought a rug anywhere, went to a store, shopped online. But the fact that my mom gave me that rug is so super cool. And I'll always think about that every time I take the Sun Valley camping. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. Anyways, I took that faucet off there. This would not fit on with the faucet there, so I took the faucet off, and now that works pretty good. I'll use that for storage, my sink. I'll put my top, my newly found countertop insert right there, and I will be ready to go. Here's a little modification I made to the Coleman Sun Valley. It takes up a lot of room, so a lot of times I won't use the table, and I'll actually store the table. But if I'm going to use it, I cut these corners off right here. Whenever I use this as my satellite office, editing, producing some of my films, when I go in and out right here, it was always real tight. So I cut those corners off, so now I can slide in here a lot easier. A lot of times on rainy days, it is the absolute best to be out in the wilderness and to be working on my films, and just the concentration level is just extreme. Well, once again, as always, I really appreciate you coming to the channel. Hey, if you have an older Coleman pop-up, or let's say you just bought an older Coleman pop-up, again, this is a 1985 Sun Valley. I have a couple videos out there that show you how to set it all up from start to finish. And I also have a video how to put it all back down. So if you're interested in something like that, take a look at it. It's in the playlist Coleman Camper or the playlist Camping. I also have a few videos out there that show how to set a tarp system up. It's the day to head out on the road and all of a sudden I've got a forecast of five days of rain. That doesn't bother me at all. I've got tarp systems that I can put over the top 
That way the pounding rain will come day after day and the canvas stays dry, the area around the camper stays dry. It works really well. Okay, that was a nice little project. Something about new paint always makes everything look brand new. Hey, there seems to be a movement on taking your pop-up campers and raising them up. And a lot of people are taking the leaf springs and they're flipping them around to the top side, which raises your camper up. And then I think there are a lot of people are talking about you can actually buy a kit. I know with the Sun Valley Coleman, it travels and it goes down the road so smooth. It's just unbelievable. No sway, very balanced. I kind of worry about that, that if I took it and I raised it up another foot, if it's not going to throw the balance off a little bit, if it's not going to throw the leaf springs off, if everything is still going to be exactly the way it was. Being older like I am, I went through all the years of driving the four-wheel drive pickup trucks, all the four-wheel drive vehicles that I had, and sure enough, every one of them I'd jack up, get it up higher. But no matter what, every time that I did that, the truck never handled as well as it did stock. When you raise something up like that, is it throwing off the center of gravity to center of balance? I've noticed a lot of the pop-up campers say, no, it's exactly the same. You're not hurting anything. 2022 camping season is going to go great for you. It's well on its way. Hey, the temperatures are actually getting a little bit warmer now, which is pretty nice. All the way up to where I go up in Lake Superior today, it's supposed to be 75, almost 80 degrees. Thank you for coming to the channel. I really appreciate it. Camp on, warriors. Mm -hmm.